Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have another Master Duel video of me just going ahead and spectating over random duels. I'm going to be going over three random duels this time, and with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right in. So, in the first match, and obviously it just says Duelist A, Duelist B, we're about to see that. Um, it does take a little bit, a lot of load that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see that it's Eldlish. Okay, main decking Regeki and Lava Golem, by the way, going second cards. Uh, we see that their opponent has two cards in the extra deck and 43 in the main deck. Okay, so this is looking like it is going to be a wild game right there. Okay, they're going to set cards, pass, and then they draw. They do have a Floodgate plus Engine. Oh my gosh, they Harpy's Feather Duster game one. They chain Dino Miscus on that to negate that and destroy it, and then banish it. Chain Scarlet. Watch this, watch this, watch this. They're about to, mine is about to be blown. Okay, they're going to go ahead. Summon out Golden Lord. Banish Harpy's Feather Duster. But, little do they know, it is actually not negated. That's just not how it works. Oh, they're going to Kaiju over. Oh, oh. El Eldish Mirror. Mirror Force. Harpies. Kaiju. Wild. Two cards in extra. That's all you need. You know what? That's Link Spider, Gustav Max. All you need. Curse, go ahead, search Lord. And then they're going to activate Golden Lord effect and get rid of Cursed. Special summon, well, add it back and special summon it out. Uh, now we can get Cursed effect to go ahead and dump. So Cursed will now go ahead and dump the third Golden Lord. Playing three Golden Lord, by the way. I'll go ahead, attack, end fit. Why did they dump Golden Lord? Hold up. Yeah, they're not supposed to. You're supposed to do Are you supposed to get to your engine? Draws Golden Lord. Oh, they're probably on three Golden Lord, too. Oh, no. Set Conquistador. Raigeki the Golden Lord, which does nothing. You don't even know what your own cards do. That blows my mind. Go ahead, summon out the Golden Lord in attack position. Now we're going to go ahead and see a end phase Conquistador set Scarlet. Decides to summon an attack for no reason, by the way. Pass turn. They draw a card. Hit you with another Kaiju. Oh, they actually had another Kaiju. They, they could go ahead and summon that out. After that, they're going to Scarlet, Chain Dynamiscus, put some bodies on board. You know, we're not losing this turn. Yo, if they hit them with a Ragaki, though. Oh. Okay, summon out. Summon that out. Then they're going to use Golden Lord Effect. Okay, get rid of that. They play Guardian. Okay, beat over. Uh, if you don't know what Guardian does, it makes you monster zero. Um, it's level seven, which is cool. Set Scarlet. And then they're going to pass turn. So go ahead, draw into Black Awakening. They're gonna Scarlet Effect to go set. So go set the Golden Land forever. Golden Lord Effect, get rid of Golden Land forever. Decides to get rid of Golden Land forever though. Could, could have went ahead and set something else that floats, doesn't want a floating card. Now they're like, okay, you're activating Golden Lord Grave Effect. This is the perfect time to Scarlet. They're summoning out Pumpkin. What does this card even do? I forget. Um, didn't this card come out in Shadow Spectres? I feel like I remember that. If this card, if this face-up card is destroyed while in a monster zone, you can place it in your spell. And Trap Zone is a continuous spell instead of sending it to the graveyard. While this card is treated as a continuous spell by the effect, during each player's standby phase, place one pumpkin counter on this card. All monsters your opponent controls is 100 attack and defense for each pumpkin counter on this card. Yo. That's kind of broken. I'm not going to lie. Eldritch Mirror Match. Make their stuff lose attack. Does, wait, does this say attack and defense? Uh, it does, it does. Go ahead, out the Lord. Black Awakening, go ahead, set Wakero. Okay, it's looking pretty good for this Eldritch player here. They're going to attack, effect, put it in the spell and trap zone. Attack with Golden Lord. Pass turn. And then they draw, standby phase. Pumpkin counter. Chain Wakero. Yup, yup, Chain Wakero. They're going to chain Scarlet. That's what you need to do there. What are they going to do? Banish, banish one of your three Golden Lords? Who cares? Go ahead, set Conquistador. Oh, it's something you can get rid of for Lord, too. It's actually just the best card in the deck. Pumpkin counter. <laughs> Go ahead, get rid of Conquistador. Add back the Lord. Special summon out Lord. And with that pumpkin counter there, they could beat over the other Lord if they want. And they are. Go ahead, beat over that. And then... Pass. Well, Conquistador, go ahead, set Scarlet, and then pass. Then they are going to go ahead, draw Cursed here. Pumpkin Counter. Chain Scarlet. Let's go. So go ahead, summon out from deck. It's another pumpkin. 
Big Pumpkin. Pumpkin, the king of... Oh, you can actually slide over. Pumpkin, the king of ghosts. If a castle of dark illusions... Isn't that the card with, like, wacky attack and defense? Like, 1830 attack? Um, it's based upon the field. Increase the attack and defense of this card by 100... Oh, 100 points. Nice. As long as this case... Cap case of castle of dark illusion if you remain face up on the field. The attack of the offense of this card continues to increase a hundred during each of the standby phases. This effect continue Konami. Where they're like they're like, okay, a uh, uh, a monster you have to tribute for with eighteen attack that gains a hundred attack if you have this random uh, if you have this random monster on the field. It, they're, they're like, nah, it's too strong. After four turns, no more. No more. Wow. Wow. The Pumpkin King is really just pretty dog compared to Pumpkin Princess. Activate Cursed. Effect. Pay 8, feel great. Go grab Conquistador. They're going to link these off. Make the Nightmare Phoenix. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, not Pumpkin Princess. Or, wait, Pump Princess, not Pumpkin, Pump Princess, bring out Golden Lord, Cursed Effect, go dump Golden Lord, they, they are both playing three Golden Lord, by the way, main phase two, pass, okay, okay, um, then Conquistador, they also have Walkero, yeah, they're gonna go ahead, use both of those, so, go set, um, set Scarlet, Conquistador, Set White Destiny, Pass Turn. And then they're going to Golden Lord Effect, get rid of Scarlet, add back, summon. What are those two cards in Extra Deck? What is it? Gustav, Max, and like Juggernaut? Summon that out. Scarlet Effect goes set. Go set Golden Land forever. You know what? Maybe. I, I could see that they're practicing for the XYZ tournament. Then they're going to go ahead and pass. Again, not summoning this in defense. Draw a Lava Golem. Then they're going to Golden Lord effect. Get rid of Scarlet. Chain Golden Lord forever. They do not want that Golden Lord on board. We trade Golden Lord for a Golden Lord. <laughs> uh, like, they could have Lava Golem that too if they wanted to. Uh, Scarlet. And then they're going to activate Conquistador. So they're going to Chain White Destiny. Okay, and then chain Scarlet. Okay, they're just making a big chain link. I like what I'm seeing. Go ahead. Scarlet, set. Sets Conquistador. Now, we're going to see White Destiny. Special summon back out. The Golden Lord. Then, after that, Conquistador. Summon and pop. Pops the Golden Lord that just got brought out. Scarlet, go set Conquistador. Wild. Switch to defense. Pass. Then they draw. They're going to go ahead, go main phase, Golden Lord Effect, get rid of Conquistador. The set one, not the one that's already, like, right here that they could have easily got rid of. They're going to Conquistador now. Okay, okay. Pop. Oh, my gosh, they actually just had game and they threw it. They had exact game, too. Oh, no. Okay, fair enough. Bring out Golden Lord. If I don't see a Mirror Force resolve this game, was it really, like, a match? No. Set. And then Conquistador goes Subway Destiny. I guess they didn't have game suit. Oh, no, 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 no. They did. They did. They definitely had game. 100%. Draw Skill Drain. Lava Golem on the opponent. After that, they're going to White Destiny. They only had 2,000 life points. Lava Golem Burn will be good. And they only have two cards in Extra So what are the odds they can link it away? What are the odds, right? Go ahead, set. Golden Lord Effect. Get rid of Skill Drain. Special Summon out. We'll add back Summon out in Defense. Do Defense. Do the Defense. And attack. Okay, guess that beats over Golden Lord. They're going to Torrential, which just games themselves. Oh my gosh. These people don't know what Golden Lord does. That was perfect. All right, hopping into the next game. We are going to, you know what? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, ho hopping into the next one now. Boom, spectate. You know, Eldest Mirror Match, not usually the most interesting match to watch, but... That was not bad. I'm not going to lie. Golden Lord discard Mirror Force. Never thought about that technique. But, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, hold up. So, 11 in the extract. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. They're doing something right. Um, Goblin Attack Force. Giant Orc. Discard attacks. It's switched to defense at the end of battle phase. You can't switch it. Cool. 
Goblin Elite Attack Force. If it attacks, it cannot. This is literally just the same card as this. Pretty much the same card. Almost the same card. And then I guess I guess they're all almost just the same card. Duality. Oh, you're playing against Chainburn. Chainburn. They grab Extravagance off of that, which they can't use this turn. Uh, set one pass. Wabaku. Pass turn. It's actually about to be interesting. Draw Regeki. What's up with everyone main decking Regeki? I guess. Oh, you know what? Double summon Chain Threatening Roar. Best time to do it. Because what if they double summon bring out Danko? Pfft. Insane. Oh my god. Look at the pressure. Look at the pressure. Yo, they Regeki. Okay, activate Extravagance. Go ahead, banish. Draw. Set four pass. Oh, it's starting to get dangerous here. It is getting dangerous. Draw Imperm. Set. You know, like sets on that would be cool. Uh, I forget what this card does. You can send this card from your graveyard. Pay 2,000 life points. You take no damage this turn. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one. Okay, so just pay 2,000 life points. You take no damage. Activate the Kree Chain Link 1. Gift card Chain Link 2. It's actually not Chain Burn. It is Nurse Burn. Chain Yada. This lets you draw one. Then they're gonna chain reckless, which lets you draw two, but skip your next two draw phases. So it's it's a neg one unless you have multiple. And then activate four. Okay, so they get to draw five here. Look, okay, what, what, why, why gift card? <laughs> we'll give them three thousand life points. Let's go. Oh, and they're attacking, but now they switch to defense. <laughs> okay, uh, main phase two. Gem Knight Pearl, why didn't I think of this? Oh my gosh, this this plays around everything. Phoenix Chain can't be used. Pass, oh my, that's insane. Draw Giant Orc, Normal Summon, Threatening Roar. Oh come on, Jar Agreed. Okay, building up a Chain Link. Hope for oh oh, that's why they're doing it. Oh, actually, I love this card. I'm not going to lie. Like, hold up, pause. Like, old jokes aside, this is one of my favorite cards ever. Like, this card is so good. So good. Like, like oh, it was, oh, back when, like, chicken game was a thing. Yeah, like, it was so good. You, you could, like, hope for escape, get your life points low, draw damage juggler, play, like, the Utopia stuff. Um, Utopia Prime just beat Cosmo instantly. That matchup was free. Actually, the best deck of the format, but nobody knew it. Uh, pass turn. They can't draw once more because Reckless Greed. Upstart. Okay. You know, I, I'm liking their deck more and more. Look at the... It's Exodia. It's not even Chain Burn. It's Exodia. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> Yo, we actually about to experience an Exodia resolve? I think we are. Pass. They draw. They draw Nib. Oh, man. Normal Summon Wabaku. Activate Gift Card. Oh, it's happening. It's happening, Reckless Greed. Oh, Chain the Fortune, draw more. Chain Yada. I don't know why they made this big Chain Link, but let's go, it's hype. Okay, so go ahead, draw, draw, draw. Give them life points, no damage this turn. Fair enough, fair enough. You know, they have like another Hope for Escape. A uh, Ho Hope for Escape Wabaku. Okay, Tax of Gemini Pearl, summons Zeus. This card is insane. It's pretty insane, not gonna lie. I honestly just didn't think they were on this card, not gonna lie. Um, but they, they are, they are on it. They're gonna set one pass, that so way Zeus wipes. Hits the Threatening Roar, wait. Okay, hit Threatening Roar, then they have to discard the end phase because they have too many cards in hand. Draw Trenchal, this is their time. Do they have it? They do, they're gonna pay 2,000 life points, they take no damage this turn, set Torrential pass. Their draw phase is skipped. Activate, banish the rest of the cards in the extra, draw one. Set two pass. Oh no, come on. Oh, draw, draws this. Attack with Zeus, they're gonna draw a greed. Chain Wabaku, oh, the final blow is not the final blow. Okay, draw one. Take no damage. All right, main phase two, summon. Oh, you can't summon another Zeus because it's at one in this format. Okay, pass. They draw. They, they actually play Raigeki. They Raigeki the board. Oh my god. Why does everyone play Raigeki? They're insane. Pass. Draw final attack orders. Everything is switched to attack and it can't be changed. Oh, that's actually broken in this deck. They call heads. Wait. Does that have their life points? Oh, that would have actually been nice. Like, 
calling it wrong would have actually just been better there. That's crazy. That reminds me of, like, Worlds 2012, where, like, they were playing versus Exodia, Hope for Escape, and they were, like, solemn judgmenting their own summons, solemn warning their own summons, so that way they would have less life points. That, that was so crazy. Uh, draw the Goblin Attack Force. Attack is a game. They're using the effect. Change our greed. Oh, did they have it? There's no way. It's, it's just game. It's just game. It's just game. Lose half your life points. Nice, but it's just game. Oh my gosh. There's no way they lose that. That guy's definitely platinum. Definitely platinum. Definitely platinum. You, you can tell. They're playing like platinum players, all right. Going into the third and final match. Okay, I'm not going to lie. We've had some pretty good matches already. Now, in this final match... I want I want to see something more wild than we've already seen. Okay, so we're going to see Galaxy. We've seen Galaxy cards two games in a row. 14 in extra deck, 57 in main deck. They have 10 in extra deck and 40 in the main deck. Can't lie, it's starting off pretty wild. Normal su set, normal summon Sage. Effect to try to go search. They're going to Ash Blossom that. I actually played against a guy that was like actually using this card. Like, like regular Yu-Gi-Oh. But... We're going to pass, but they draw into, I don't even know what this card is, Galaxy Zurich. If this card is in your hand, you can target one photon, Galaxy XYZ monster you control attached to it as a material. This card is normal, summary special, you can target five photon or galaxies. Okay, so it's just Pot of Avarice, okay? Uh, so normal summon that out. They're going to skill drain on some. They don't even lightning storm the back row first. They said, you know what? No respect. Beat over. Wow. No respect, huh? Pass. They're going to go ahead and activate Melody. Oh, they're about to get big monsters on board. They add Alternative. And they add Alternative because they already have a Blue Eyes. The Easy Reads. The Easy Reads. Reveal. Special Summon Out. Battle Phase. Beat Over. Okay, maybe this was a part of their plan. They, they knew that was Skill Drain. They were okay with skipping the turn because now they're going to Lightning Storm them this turn. Draw Photon Crusher. Go ahead, call monsters, normal summon, special summon, activate, make this gang 700 attack, and then you can use the effect to pop the back row. Oh my gosh, that's actually, I didn't even know I had that effect, that's insane. I was like reading it as it was being used. Putting them down to 800, no way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Go for this, use the effect, detach two, special summon out from the deck. It's going to bring out the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. There's a battle between... Between the eyes, galaxy eyes, blue eyes. Yo, lightning storm, bingo go. Shows blue eyes spirit, blue eyes abyss, true light. They add one, reveal blue eyes, special summon out alternative. And then they're gonna go ahead, set, battle phase, attack, and then main phase two, pass turn. They go ahead, draw here. They draw on the galaxy dragon. They're going to go ahead, normal summon, activate. This card says special summon a blue eyes from the hand or griever. Is that all this card does? Um, they cannot be targeted with card effects. If this is destroyed, destroy all monsters you control. You can activate the effect, special summon a blue eyes. This is literally just a copy of the Dark Magician card. This is actually just a Dark Magician card. Wow. Wow. Wow, creative. Galaxy Dragon make this gang a thousand. So they're crashing there. <sighs> Risky game they're playing here. Risky. Oh, this is just game. That's just game. Main phase. Effect. Special summon back out. Oh, it must first be special summon correctly. Activate special summon back out. Oh my gosh. They're really doing their thing right here. Attack for game. Yo, Galaxy I just got waxed. Absolutely waxed. Uh, blue eyes, better deck confirmed. Uh, but yeah, with, uh, with all that being said, not going to lie, that, that was not bad. The third match is a little bit whack, but uh, the, the first and second match... I really want to see Exodia get resolved. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.